Hey, what's up, everybody? This is attorney Dan Wynn, and I want to talk about wills and trusts and funding your uh, house and other property into your living trust. Now, this is a common scenario I get is husband and wife, they buy a property, and um, it's time for refinancing, and sometimes um, um, one of the spouses don't have a great credit score, and so they refinance in the name of one particular spouse. And from then on, they don't transfer the title back to husband and wife. It stays in the wife's, uh, it stays in the wife's or other one spouse's name. So um, how do you transfer this uh, property into your, into your living trust now? Because most of the times for husband and wife, they have a joint trust where husband and wife are the uh, grantors or the trustors and, uh, you know, 50-50 everything, uh, especially California, which is a community property state. So um, luckily, California, like I said, is a community property state. That property was purchased um, while marriage, so that's considered uh, real property, but you want to make sure the title is consistent with the uh, ownership characteristics. So in this particular scenario, this is what we had to do, and this is what I, I, I um, this happened to uh, one particular client. Um, they were married, um, but the title was only in one of their names. I believe they, they bought it in only one of the names, but they bought it while they were married. Uh, and now they have a living trust, and now we need to put the house in the living trust. So how do we put the living trust when only, um, they only have um, uh, one person on the name of title. So it's actually a two-step process. One is actually to transfer, um, add the other spouse to the title, all right? So um, step one is at, at, um, at, um, transferring the other non-named spouse on the title. So California, again, community property state, uh, transfer between adding spouses to title um, is, uh, is not, a, 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 is not a, a reassess event. And so you can do this easily. Um, by um, uh, filing a uh, deed with the uh, county clerk recorder. So that's the first step, adding the non-named spouse. Now, this, now this is the next step is actually transferring the house into the property. And so obviously now the name matches with the, uh, 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 with the living trust. And so now has husband and wife as uh, grantors transferred to the John, John and Jane Doe uh, trustees of the Doe Living Trust. Okay, so this doesn't happen a lot. It does happen from time to time, especially when people refinance out and have to or purchase a house under one spouse's name. Um, it is a little bit additional work, so sometimes there's additional fee, but it's the way that's done uh, correctly, and at least you have the peace of mind that now your house is into your trust, and you can avoid the probate process with uh, in case uh, if you're passing away. All right, this is Dan talking about wills and trusts. What happens if the house that you and your spouse own is only in the title of one um, one spouse and if it was purchased uh, while during marriage and getting that property into your trust. All right, this is Dan. Talk to you soon. Bye.